Today we will be discussing how we can handle the missing data. So what is missing data? Firstly, the missing data means the, the NAN which we see in our data frame. NAN which usually denotes not a number. So if we have NAN cases, then we do our analysis and see if we need to remove this from our data or not. So uh, likely uh, while reviewing the COVID data, we don't see like uh, we need to, so this is my COVID data. So here we don't need to see, we need to remove any values uh, because it, this is not the missing data because a country cannot have the information of a state. So here I'm gonna be showing you how to treat missing data, how we can account, fill and drop the missing data. So uh, suppose if we need to uh, see the count, of NAND cases in my data frame. So what, what I'm going to be doing is this now. Like so. The sum of all NAND cases, 185 provinces and slash states is, is NAND, that is not a number. So if we need to fill up uh, my NAND cases with something other value, because this doesn't look like uh, not a number, I mean, this, 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 this is not a uh, missing value cases. So if you need to replace it with uh, some other number that makes more meaningful that we can do uh, by replacing it with another value, for example, you can use start fill any with uh, So, uh, okay. this makes more sense. Uh, we don't have the information available. This doesn't mean uh, like we, the data is missing. We just replace it with not available cases. So, uh, so this is how we're gonna replace NAND with not available. This is gonna showing the count of our all missing values. Now, if we, I if I need to filter out the missing values. For example, in my COVID data, if I need to remove all NAND cases, well, what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be uh, doing COVID dot drop any. So what this does is uh, remove all the NAND cases. So right now you can see we have all the states information. So this is how we uh, basically count missing value, fill the missing value and filter out our missing data. So in this case, uh, we don't need to filter out uh, the data because uh, a data can have the informa information of states or not. So we're gonna not be, we will not be uh, applying a filter logic here. This is just a demo purpose of how we're gonna be filtering the data. So now let's move ahead with removing duplicates. So this is my COVID. Data. So if I need to remove any duplication or uh, we don't see any duplication, however, if we need to remove uh, duplication just to be in safe side. So what we, we have a function called feed drop gates. So uh, remove my duplicates. We don't see any duplicates right now. Just to be a safe, just to be in safe side, I remove removed all the duplicates. And if I need to remove uh, duplicates for specific columns, uh, then we can even if you need to remove duplication from country slash duplication okay so here we can see duplicates has been removed 
because initially we had 266 rows right now it's 288 so duplication on the basis of country has been removed so this is how we handle duplicates on overall data and on a specific column so uh, right now i'm moving to uh, concatenation and transformation so how we concatenate two data frames so let's say uh, this is my covid so I need to split my data into two data frames. Suppose if I need to split my data in two data frames, how can I do this? Suppose, for example, if uh, I need to remove data from us and for Afghanistan so let's view data I have one record for the us one for Afghanistan. If I need to concat this to uh, record, then what I can do is concat equals windows library dot concat So we have two fields, so we need brackets here. I mean, uh, we don't have to send this. We are frames. So by default, uh, this gets concatenated on row basis. If we need to concat on the basis of uh, columns, then we can use access equals one but right now uh, access equals one right now we don't need to concat on column so this is how we concat the basis of rows so we have two records we concatenated the data for us and afghanistan now uh, i need to transform my data so this is where we have individual dates like on 22 to, to uh, 6 22 122 to from Jan 22 to June 22, we have the number of COVID cases. So, uh, if I need to, uh, this uh, analysis doesn't look, if I need to convert and transform it into columns, uh, that will make a much more sense uh, to perform uh, the further analysis. So, we usually transform data using stack. So, right now, what I'm going to do is Firstly, I will pull my all details uh, that belongs to US. Okay, so I'm going to be removing latitude and longitude, don't make that. Drop columns at access in this axis, we dropping the data the column. So we can see two columns has been removed. So, uh, so, so we use stack to convert transform. Let's name it transform dot stack. So 
So what it does is it, it basically default disable. You can see that. So we need to reset our index because uh, it has done transformation. So we need to once reset our index. So here we go. So you can see the level two, uh, level one and zero. So I don't need level underscore zero. So I need to rename it. I just need level underscore one and zero. Firstly, what I will do is uh, I will remove my first record that contains country slash reason. So this is some label underscore one if that equals equals. I will include all records that does not contain countries last reason. Okay, so my first uh, rules has been removed. So I now just need to rename my columns. So I don't uh, even need label zero. So I just I simply need two columns. Let's get this name as filter. So we need to remove strings. So here we go. So I have two fields. Let's give this a uh, meaningful name dot column equals. This is my date field. Now oh, this is my number of cases. Columns. You go. So this is my data field. This is my number of cases. Since we have data from, uh, it's starting from 2020. So if I remove this column 20, then it's gonna give me more precise result because we know that we have data from 2020. So what I'm gonna be doing is, uh, firstly, I'm gonna sorting my data. Uh, so which date has highest occurrence I mean, highest number of cases. I'm going to be doing uh, the sort and finding out which date has the highest cases. So, what I'm going to be doing is sort underscore values. Now, I'm going to be giving by words sort on the basis of uh, number of cases and ascending equals false. So let's put this in free So this is a uh, certain done basis of number of cases. We say uh, the June 22 have the highest number of cases and the trend is increasing still in the US. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be removing this 20 because we have data from 2020. So I'm gonna be parsing first. I'm gonna be parsing the date and then I'm gonna be grouping and then I'm gonna be using substring. So let's parse it first. Equals one is date time. I'm converting my So this is this is this is what we convert for date time. So this is what we say the result. Date has been converted. Uh, let's include 
the conversion right here. So this is what I'm going to be applying in my date field. So if we apply this in the date field, I'm going to see that it has been passed. Now I'm going to be, uh, it's like the date is for every day. Uh, individual every day we're gonna we have, we have the number of cases same now I'm gonna be converting this into semi monthly by using a group and aggregation so I'm gonna be achieving how, how we're gonna be doing this is by suppose we're gonna be using a little group variable and we need to use dot group by then drag it and maybe not number equals drag it maybe on the basis of uh i want to uh do my date field frequency equals semi monthly and this on the basis of number of cases Equal sum. So, so this has been passed and grouped on the basis of semi month wise 15, 30, 15, 29. So, I'm going to be resetting my index dot reset underscore index. Every time we group or parse our data, we need to or transform our data, we need to always reset our index so this is what i want to say uh now even we can do here sort of let's call values and you can see on the basis of descending order by giving this not of cases comma ascending equals oops so so this is the we having the top uh, number of cases at, right at front so this is how we group our data now i want to remove all these to 2020 from my date field i want to just stream and parse my data so how can we i do that is uh, simply HDR. I'm going to starting from one, two, three, four, five, six, um, six, so on. So let's check this one. So you can put this uh, to the string first. Sorry. String first. Maybe. Now I want to replace uh, jazz with slash. It's Yes. So, uh, my data from daily to semi monthly. We even used uh, parcel function and sorting. So, today we learned a lot. Thank you so much. In the next slide, we're going to be talking about uh, doing some visualization in this data. Thank you so much.